Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to cover plotting structural geology data in ArcGIS. So this is, um, could be uh, foliation data, could be lineation data, or any other data that we want to rotate. So to plot foliation data we need a spreadsheet with some locations and the orientation measurements that were made at those locations. Um, we've supplied you with some files to work through and if we look here we've got a map, we've got a font and then this data file, we've, uh, data folder we've got a spreadsheet so just open that up. So what you can see currently in the spreadsheet is we have uh, easting and northing elevation uh, but the data is in strike, dip and dip direction in separate fields. Now sometimes I see people come to me with strike um, slash dip, dip direction all in a single column. Um, to convert that, I mean, you really need to have those in separate columns um, in order to work with them. So what you can use is various Excel operations such as um, mid, um, these are substring operations, so they take a string and take different parts of it, so one is mid, another is left, and another one you might need to use is right, and you might have to do some manual fix up after this. So the problem with strike uh, dip and dip direction is that it um, it's not very good for a computer program that's trying to recognize it. Some, some software will deal with dip direction, but a lot of stuff you need to use dip azimuth and dip. So dip azimuth is the, in the case of um, foliation data, it is the direction that the, the tick is pointing towards. So what we need to do now is to convert it so the easiest way to convert it is to create a few different options. So I'm going to say dip, dip as one, dip as two, and dip as three. So the first one, dip as one, is going to equal this um, plus ninety. second one is going to equal the strike minus 90 and the third one is going to equal the s equals the s strike plus 270 So those are our options there for dip azimuth and then we just basically have to look through and compare with the dip direction to decide which one is, is um, most applicable. So um, let's just call this one way you can do this is to do a to look through these three fields um, Another thing you can do here is if you make this one a modulo 360, so equals mod 2 plus 270 360, then you don't actually need the second column. Um, you see that when it gets above 360, it just takes the remainder, that's what the modulo operation is. So we can delete that column and we've just gone down to two choices now so that makes things a bit easier. Um, now you can set this up so you do equals and if this one's empty, if this equals zero, yeah, let's do that. Equals if Sorry, if 
logical test is that equals zero, then it should be this one. Um, and then if that's not true, then it should be that one. And then we can just uh, delete the one we don't want. So let's fill that down. So this one, it should be 122. That's southeast, that's southeast, 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 southeast. Um, and this one is, well, it should have been south actually. See, this is why this is sometimes problematic. Um, this one here is northeast, so it is not that one, because this is northeast quadrant. Um, this one here is east, so it's the 90, and this one here is east as well. Um, this one here is east, so we delete that one. And then all the rest of these are south east. Now it's kind of nice here to we can copy and paste in this as values because we don't want any of these sort of workings. Um, you can store them but we we kind of need want to keep things simple. So we can get rid of all four of these fields now. Um, and let's also, let's actually um, paste those ones over there and delete this one. So now we've got simply the Easting Northern Elevation Dip Azimuth and Dip. So we can save this now and we also, in order to uh, work with this in ArcGIS, we need to save it as a CSV file. So we go into the data folder and just change to, to save as type um, and down here it should be CSV comma delimited. So we go save as, save, uh, don't worry about this. Okay and now we can close this. If you want to find out more about how to add XY data in ArcGIS you can go to a blog post I've written on that or watch my YouTube video on that. Um, so the next thing we want to do is open up the map. I'm just going to fit this into the frame a bit better and close that create features window. Sorry, I just had that open uh, twice, so sorry about that. It was a little bit confusing. Um, I'll just check that I can save this. Okay. This is an error if you open up something twice, so I've kind of marked that up. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, what you can do for this workaround is just save it as a... Uh, sorry, I should file. This is not going well. Alright, I'm going to try and slice a couple of videos together and get back to that state because <laughs> that did not go well at all.